Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. As always said, we have again came back with a very interesting project in the factory IO that I am going to show you today. It is automating stacking box project. You can see this machine is stacking the number of plates in this box. Okay. And it will stack up to four plates. After that, this box will automatically move and another box will be filled. You see, this box has filled. Now new plate has come and new box has come. It will fill up to four plates in the one box. And this is the complete automatic system. You can see I am not energizing any output. Everything is working automatically. So this is our today's project that we are going to learn automatic stacking machine or we can say automatic pick and place robot so we are going to see its factory IO designing and its ladder logic in Siemens TIA portal so first you see how the complete process is working okay so let me also explain you what will be the manual process so let's wait for the new product Okay, so now you can see both conveyors will move. Okay, still this is one plate is remaining. Now I will explain you. So now both conveyors will move until the box and plates has came. Then first Z axis will come down. Let me show you. First Z axis will come down. Then it will grab the object. Again Z axis of X axis will be energized. Again Okay, let me explain you slowly. So, let me explain you in this way. This is the home position. I am pausing the my simulation. Okay, this is the home position. First, Z axis will be energized. I have kept this in analog mode. Okay, so first, Z axis will go down and it will grab the object when plate is come to this sensor. Observe that. Okay. Z axis came down and it grabbed. Now Z axis will move upwards. Okay. Now again I am pausing. Now X axis will be energized. So this movement will occur. Okay. Because I was. Let me restart this. So when both objects are came, then only auto cycle will occur. So now X axis advance. Then Z will come down and it will release the product. See, X axis advance, Z will come down and it will release. And again Z up and then X backwards. So this is simple but automatic process we are going to see today. So let me stop this simulation. And let's discuss how I designed this in factory IO. So here I have taken two conveyors. This is 4 meter belt conveyor. And this is 6 meter belt conveyor. I just drag and drop from here. You can see like this and this. As you can see, I haven't kept any operating panel for starting the process. So for that, I have used this factory IO running button as my start button. And this is only my stop button. Okay. So that how you can do, I will show you later. So this is how I brought my conveyors. Then by this we can brought our emitters by pressing V we can move in vertical direction. And these are our emitters. So by right clicking we can configure it. So we don't want any base over here. We want only stackable box. So we will select. So in this conveyor we will get stackable box. Similarly, let's copy paste this and keep it over here. So here again in the configuration what we want. So here we want blue product base only. So in this way here only plates will come and here only stackable box will come. Now another thing is timing. So let's see what I have kept. I have kept timing as 1-1 for box. And 
for plate also i have kept one one timing in my project okay now similarly we will get our remover now in my project i keep emitter and remover as forced you can see by default it is not forced it will be like this if it is like this uh, we have to force it so that we don't require plc output to turn this object on so i will keep it force okay in my project now there are the two sensors uh, this to sense the plate and this one to sense the box so that is also you can get it from here this is that, that sensor by pressing v we can move in vertical direction and we can place it over here but okay, similarly just copy paste this and we can place it over here then by pressing y we can rotate this okay okay let me show you pressing y i can rotate it like this so here i will keep now uh, we have to see setting of the sensor is very important in our project so before that uh, what we have to do uh, we need this pick and place object okay so how i brought that first this is that pick and place object let me see if i can place it over here or not so then i will configure it in analog mode and i have to rotate this okay so for that first so this is how you can see i uh, brought all my objects now let me delete all this and i will show you operating of this machine in factory io okay not in real life in factory io so what i will do uh, whenever we take any new object uh, you have to check the object uh, like this okay right now we don't want this operations and this operations are also not required in our project so i have taken three outputs x axis set point z and the grab output so now i will start my simulation so here you can see if i move x axis it will move like this okay this is how x axis works and if i move 10 to my z axis it will move like this z axis so what is our project first z axis will go down then grab the object you can see this is on right now then bring back z axis move x axis like this then what we have to do we have to down the z axis again and release the object so you can see this output is turned off and bring back z axis and bring back x axis and this is our home condition okay so this is how this machine works now let me tell you about the setting of the sensors that is very important part in every machine so that we have to check manually when the first time we are designing our factory io so you have to place this sensors such that when gripper comes down it properly picks the part and how i said this one so let me show you it should sense uh, this front part of this box as soon as this part is sensed this conveyor will stop let me copy paste this and show you better way over here this sensor over here and this gripper over here so for example this is my new system here there is no setting of the sensor so what i will do i will force this conveyors okay and this outputs also to see what happens so first let me bring the plate okay let me start the simulation okay 
and I have to stop this. So now you can see my sensor is on. Now I will move my z-axis and grab it from here. So let's see. So it is properly grabbing my object. So we can see by fluke our this sensor setting is okay by fluke. Okay. If it is not okay, we have to set it like that. Uh, where to place this sensor? Okay. Now I will have to move box. Okay. For that I need some different angle. Okay. Now let's move the box. I should move box up to this. Okay. This means this sensor should be placed over somewhere over here. So I have to stop this. I will move this over here. So first let's bring our plate. It should stop like this. Automatic it will stop like this. Now bring our box. It should stop like this. Now I will move Z axis, grab it and move Z axis back. Now X axis up to this value. Okay, for this again we have to change our angle. Okay, now it looks fine. Uh, we have to move it up to 8. Now Z axis up to 6. And now I will release this product and move back. Okay, so you play this kept downwards. Now move Z axis back. So this is where we have to do setting of the sensors and check our system manually. After this, we have to go towards the programming part. So let me delete all this. So in this part, let us keep it up to here only factory layout designing. So in the next part, I will show you its ladder programming in detail. Thank you for watching guys. If you want to see more examples like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video.